everybody, welcome to a Hello. Brit Pops React. You're me, BP1 and BP2. Um, oh, first time listening for us today with a new band. Um, yes. High as a Kite. Uh, yeah. All written in, in, in one word. Uh, well, it seems yeah. to be a duo. It does, yep. With a song uh, called Someone Who'll Get It. Yep. Take this that was, as uh, you will. <laughs> yes. Uh, this was one that was uh, uh, recommended to us by Lil M. Uh, and yeah, when you first sort of see the name, you think it might be a Japanese name or something. Hi as a kaki. But uh, no, hi as a kite. That'll be me. <laughs> I was going to say, I think you are after saying that. <laughs> uh, uh, brilliant. All right. Yeah, yeah so let's give it a go. Much about these at all. Nope. So this is I'll add a bit a... more info as we go along. Recommendation. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Send somebody to me alive. Send somebody vital. Send someone not likely to die. Send someone who's vital. Send a fighter. Send a fighter. Send somebody. Okay, well, this is a different right. type of music. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's not taken off anywhere yet, but it's it's nope. somewhere. It's just like a, that. It's sort of just trying to draw you in, giving like a sort of repetitive type of lyric. And I know that accent now because yes. I've done a lot. I mean, I've got. I don't know if when this comes out, but I've got a mad for it coming out, oh. which is War the Runa, <laughs> and I can tell. The You're accent. in the right location. Norwegian. Yes, indeed. Yes, so Hi as a Kite, mm. uh, indie pop and indie rock band, uh, which I thought would be in your ballpark. Yes, yes you're into your indies. Uh, yeah. They are from Norway. Uh, they were, The band were formed when vocalist and songwriter Ingrid Helena Havik met drummer Trond Bursu while studying jazz at the Trondheim Jazz Conservatory in 2010. After just six months, the duo started working on their debut album. So, um, been a yeah. Been a bit then, 12 years, 12 odd years. Yep. 2010, yes. Uh, All That Floats Will Rain was released in 2012 by a riot factory in Norway. Um, as okay. you say, at the moment, it's just it just got that sort of um, drum and keys coming in and, and the, the, the vocals over the top. Um, very artsy with the video. So mm. I'm like you at the moment. I'm sort of going, right, are they Where setting us going? up to sort of take off or is it going to stay on, on this? Do you know what it reminds me of? Of another artist that we've done on the channel, which is bizarre, but it's like it's got a sort of a Vander feel. All oh, right. OK, that yeah. is very left for you. Yeah, 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 I'm Vanda. just Vander. Yeah, of all the people, I don't right. know whether it's just the 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 way that it's the instrument. I don't know. I just feel mm. I just feel a bit of a Vander feel. Uh, I was thinking sort of Manchester Orchestra, the one remember that sort of didn't started off quite, and then it sort yeah, of stayed yeah, on the same got, level. Yeah. So I'm um, right. wondering where where this is gonna where this is gonna go. But um, all right, so far interesting. Mm -hmm. Video, isn't it? 
It is actually. Hey? No parental guidance on this one. Lots of bullets, lots of blood, lots of. Mm, you know. Someone will get it. Someone will get it. Someone okay. Will get it. Yeah. Now I know it's not. When I say take that as you will at the beginning, someone will get it with a bullet. Clearly. By the looks of it. Yeah. Um, all right, so it, it's moved up a, a couple of gears. So you know, a um, bit yeah. of a pop song. It's, it's kind of that um, marching band type. You know, left, right, left, right, isn't it? You know, dump, dump with the with the bass drum. So you're kind of bopping along with it, even though you, you don't intend to, sort of thing. Um, all right, um, yeah, it's a poppy little song. Nice, yeah, it's a know, poppy little song. Nice voice. I I want it to go somewhere. Yeah, but then that's just, just personal wanna... preference. I like songs to just blow Kick up off a bit. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it hasn't. I mean, like you say, it's just going through the gear at the moment, isn't it? As if you drive. I mean, obviously, off. we got obviously there's a duo and singer and and drummer, so obviously not a massive uh, pool of instruments to to pull on there, um, keys, I guess. But uh, all right, I mean, what else have we got here? So uh, they hires a kite with one of several performers alongside artists including Sting and Halsey, who played at the Nobel Peace Prize concert in 2016. Uh, performing songs Golden Ticket, Lover and Where Do You Live. All right, we don't know about those ones. Uh, Nobel Peace Prize concert 2016. Was that Aurora in there as well? I don't know. She did a Nobel, didn't she? Yeah, quite a lot of the artists that we've done have, have been on the Nobel. So, um, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um, and what else have I got there? In 2020, the 2020 uh, they were nominated for Pop Group of the Year Award at the Norwegian equivalent of the Grammy Awards. So, you know, okay. getting recognised as well. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Out of this mind. Send a goddamn to look away because I, I, I what i've done what i realized is actually how influential the video is yeah because it, i don't know why but because you see the bullet wounds in the blood it's almost depressive in a way right yeah go with yeah me. yeah but when you when you're watching it on the video if i look away i, I hear the song completely differently it's a little foot tapper isn't it yeah and it, when it goes up into that yeah, I'm listening to it as as a song, as as opposed to seeing someone see, seeing the emotional side of it visually. Really does yep. really on this one. Really does affect the way you interpret the song. So yeah, I mean, if it was away, on the radio, it's completely different. Yeah, on the radio, yeah, okay. it would it's, yeah be yeah. a little dance number, wouldn't it? Bopping mm. away at it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, uh, when you sort of listen in behind her lyrics there's a lot of sort of um harmonies and stuff going on as well which is making it's, filling the track out isn't it's it it's not quite, a lot of, quite a lot going sort on. of um mm. i can't really think of the the noise it's it's, it's all, almost like ping pong do you remember the old ping pong Go, on the pop, yeah pop, 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 yeah pop, 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 you think of that on ping yeah pong ping, wasn't it? Was it pong yeah and and pong. you know it's just it's, I don't it, know, it's, it's those sort of noises it's a Euro pop from sort of like you say the eighties mm. kind of kind of thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, I, I can't remember the, the sort of the names of the artists, but that was the kind of things you were getting, you know, sort of from the the German artists, Norwegians, and and Euro poppy style. Yeah, it's it's interesting. There's a lot going on considering that you know apparently there's only there's only a duo. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's keep going and uh, we'll score. <laughs>
Okay. High as a kite. Yeah. All right. It's very different, mate. Different, like you say. Hmm. Um, for me, it was just, it was quite a poppy sort of song. Obviously, no guitars and stuff in there. So whenever yep. you're looking at, uh, you know, sort of drum beats and instrumental coming from sort of, I don't know, a synth piano keyboard type to sort of fill the gaps with vocals, it's always going to be poppy. You know, yeah. so uh, you know, it's not like it breaks down anywhere and goes into a different so. So overall, I enjoyed the song. It was a, a, yep. a nice pop song. To yep. listen to in the background it didn't sort of blow me away it wasn't like something oh yeah it's amazing but it's just it's just a different again a different artist different song yep. duo different style yeah different yep. style euro i think uh, yeah i think um to sort of quote your words you know from from uh, other videos if it came on on the radio you wouldn't turn it off would you it's sort of oh it's that song again and you know maybe maybe oh, it's turn catchy, it up on... mate. yeah it is i think Even it's one it's of those repetitive, ones... it's catchy yeah, exactly. I mean, towards the end there, I mean, it was the same lyrics pretty much over and over again. There weren't a lot of lyrics in it. I think there was more lyrics in the um, Fly Bird Fly one that we've done. So only six in that. Fly Robin uh, Fly. Fly Robin Fly. Uh, but um, it was okay, yeah. And, I, and as you say, the, the, the video gave it a different sort of slant to, to listening to it, you know, without the video. So all mm. in all, introduction to High as a Kite. Where are you going to put that one? I'm going to put on, that one. Well, got up there. Yeah, I would say um, I enjoyed the song. It was fine. Didn't blow me away. Give it about a 7.7. 7. Yeah, I was going to come about 7.9. But, um, you know, we're relying 7. on you 8. out there. I think, uh, what else? The uh, little M um, give me Samurai Swords acoustic version. But anything else that um, somebody would like to recommend that maybe you think would fit our ears a bit more? Yeah, Happy absolutely. Uh, make sure you join us at Britpop Strax. Hit the subscribe button. Come with us. If you watched us before, why not? Um, come with yep. us again. Until next time, it's goodbye from me over there. Uh, goodbye from him over there. Hi as a kite. Yeah, you're going to get it. <laughs> yeah.